Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from June 15th to July 15th. And this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, uh, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge from mid-June to mid-July is the High Priestess. Okay, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, is the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, all right, so uh, your challenge coming up for you for the month of July, mid-June, is the High Priestess. There's a lot of spiritual energy here, okay? There's something here about you really going within, okay? And usually the high priestess talks to me about your intuition, going within, um, talks about like someone not speaking to you, maybe even someone being silent. You don't know where you stand in a situation. This is a very spiritual energy coming up for you, okay? We're gonna clarify this and see what this means for you and what the message here is uh, in a moment. Sagittarius, in the past, you have the Six of Cups, you have the Ten of Swords, and you have the Knight of Wands. There is a situation here in the past with someone from the past, maybe an ex, um, or somebody, you know, that you've dealt with in the past, ex, friend, whatever, apply it to your situation. Something here came to an end in the past. There was definitely a devastating situation that really affected you at the core. And what it what it did in the past, Sagittarius, is it led you on this, um, it led you into this energy of really just going all over the place, being all over the place, just wanting, not wanting to think about the situation. Okay. There's a situation in your life in the past that really affected you, that you haven't been able to completely shake off because you've been so focused on going here, there, and everywhere. Okay, we're going to clarify this and see. Now, in the present moment, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles, and you have the Seven of Wands. There is a beautiful blessing that's coming into your life with the Ace of Cups. For many of you, this is a, a brand new beginning in love, or it could be a renewal of love that's happening here for you. I'm also getting... Um, as well too with the two of pentacles that there is a decision that you have to make in the present moment about this new connection or this new um, beginning that you're having in love and a lot of you are resistant towards it okay with the seven of wands so we're going to clarify and we're going to see now in the near future Sagittarius you have the eight of swords you have the king of pentacles and the wheel of fortune again beautiful blessing is coming into your life major change that you've been waiting for is coming into your life with the wheel of fortune we're going to clarify and see what this uh change is all about that's coming in for you now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the three of cups in reverse you have the judgment in reverse the sun in reverse the two of swords in reverse the nine of wands in reverse, the two of cups in reverse, and the knight of cups in reverse with the king of wands in reverse, and the page of wands in reverse. A situation that you thought was going to lead to something great may not be going in that direction. I see you completely withdrawing from some sort of plan that you had. There was a plan that you had that you're like, yeah, that's not going anywhere. I'm not, I'm not moving in that direction anymore. Could have been with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There may have been a fallout between you and this person where you stopped dealing with this person or you stopped engaging in a relationship with them in the past. Uh, you are slowly getting over this situation. For many of you, you've given up on this person or you're in the process of giving up on this person and you're starting to open yourself up 
more, but it's taking you time to open up because there's a lot of depression here. There's a lot of sadness. You're still getting over something and it's been very difficult for you. Okay. Very difficult for you to get over this situation, but there is something here that you're not real realizing, excuse me, about this situation. Now, for many of you, you're looking at the situation. You're saying, I don't see a reconciliation. I don't see myself working on things with this person in, in, in some way you've lost hope in this connection. Um, and, but there's also something here that you're not realizing, okay, with the judgment. There's something here about poor judgment. Judgment in reverse for me is poor judgment or a lack of acknowledgement um, here when it comes to why a reconciliation is not happening maybe the way you had expected, okay? So let's do some clarification, Sagittarius, and let's see um, what's going on for you. All right, so the first card I'm going to clarify for you, Sagittarius, is the High Priestess. Okay, so the High Priestess is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Strength, and the Two of Wands. There's something that you're going through right now, okay? You are trying to find the strength to get over the situation. It could be um, you choosing what direction you want to take in your life moving forward, okay? For many of you, there is a separation that's happening from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Leo right now. And this person isn't speaking to you. They're not communicating. You do still have love for this person, but you don't know where things are going, okay? And the challenge here is, is to not continuously allow yourself to be in the state of mind where you know you feel less than because you're in a separation you feel like you're not worthy you feel like you're not good enough here for this person there's something here about this person being very in and out of your life they haven't been able to give you the emotional stability that you're looking for but Sagittarius this is something that you need to find within yourself with the high priestess here okay and that's why the high priestess is showing up because the high priestess is not only about someone being silent and it's not only about your intuition for me it's speaking to me about about you really spiritually going within because you could choose which path you want to take in your life you could choose to take the non-spiritual path and continue putting yourself through the situation that you don't need to be going through or you could look at things from a different perspective very similar to the leo reading that i did and choose the path that you want to take but that's going to require you to really get into that spiritual mode to really go within and really listen to your intuition completely. Okay. And that's your challenge moving forward into um, the end of June, moving into July. Okay. So let's talk about the past and let's clarify the Ten of Swords. There was a very um, harsh ending that happened here in the past. It, it was like rock bottom for you in the past here. Some of you didn't know how to deal with this situation in the past. Let's clarify. So the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the High Priestess. A lot of you were trying to find truth and clarity about an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe a Pisces here. Why this person um, was moving extremely slow towards you, you know? For many of you, you assume that things were over because there was no action. This person wasn't taking action. So you started to find other avenues or other ways to satisfy yourself, okay? Because the past really wasn't doing anything for you. There's something here about things ending very badly with someone here from the past. So you started to go off and find different ways to deal with the situation here, okay? Let's clarify the Knight of Wands in the past. So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Sun, the Three of Swords, and the Justice. Yeah, a lot of you felt hurt by this person. You felt like this person didn't care about you. You felt like you were maybe put into a third-party situation. You wanted justice. So the best way for you to get justice was to kind of go off and be a player, to go off and kind of just do your own thing. For some of you, you were put in a third-party situation or you put someone in a third-party situation because for many of you, you weren't satisfied with this person. So you went off to find somebody new in order to bring justice to your heart, to your situation, to find happiness again. 
Okay, this is what happened in the past. Now, in the present moment, there's a beautiful opportunity and love for you. Some of you don't see this opportunity. You're very resistant towards this opportunity. Before I clarify this new love and what it, what it is that's coming into your life, Sagittarius, I'm going to clarify the seven of wands. And we're going to see why you are resistant towards making a decision about this new connection or new love that has or is entering into your life in the present moment. So the seven of wands is clarified by the two of cups, the family card and the lovers. A lot of you are resistant towards having a relationship. You may not know this. You may be saying, I'm not resistant. I do want a connection or I do want love. I do want this. But at the same time, a lot of you may be very busy or you have other obligations or you have other things that are taking your time. For many of you, you know, you you want a connection but there's something that's that you need to decide there's a decision here with the two of pentacles tell me more about this new love that's coming in for sagittarius this new beginning in love that's happening for them right now so the ace of cups is clarified by the queen of swords the queen of wands and the devil you don't know if this connection is really going to take off you don't know that because it's been very casual with you and this person it's been very like you're attached to them you're attracted to them you like them but you also come across Sagittarius in the present moment, possibly as someone who's not really interested in having a new beginning, okay? Or you're not interested in having a connection, even though that's something that you deeply want within inside of you, there's something that you want to see from this person. You may want to see this person take more initiative towards you, um, but I do see in the present moment this person um, they want to hear from you. They want to communicate with you. A lot of you are disengaged from this person. If you look at the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands in these two cards, you're going to see the Queen of Wands is not even looking at the Queen of Swords. She's busy. She's like, I'm busy. I don't have, I'm busy. I don't have time. Okay. So if you're not present or you're not readily available to engage, to have this new beginning, there may be a missed opportunity here. So what is the decision that you have to make in the present moment? about this situation. Tell me about the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles is clarified by the fool, the hierophant and the eight of cups. Your decision here has a lot to do with walking away from a marriage connection relationship that has really left you in a place of feeling unemotionally fulfilled. There's a situation that you long for, Sagittarius, but it unemotionally fulfills you. And what that is leading to is a decision that you have to make, whether you want to remain holding on to a situation that is not fulfilling you or whether you are ready to take a risk on new love, to move forward to new love and to really take advantage of a new opportunity that's coming into your life. That's going to be your decision. OK, so this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. Now, in the near future, there's a beautiful change that's coming into your life. It is a very unexpected change, but one that is very much needed for you. I do see a stable, solid person coming in Capricorn Virgo Taurus. OK, but there's also an energy here of the eight of swords. Someone here is stuck. They want to release themselves in order to enjoy this opportunity of the Wheel of Fortune, but they continue to remain in their head about this situation, which actually sabotages things. OK, so you got to be really careful here um, in terms of being aware of some sort of opportunity. We're going to see what this opportunity is about for you. But first, I'm going to clarify the eight of the eight of swords. OK, what is this eight of swords here in the near future for Sagittarius? The message I'm getting for you, okay, hear me out because it's a very important message, uh, Sagittarius. The message that I heard was don't sabotage this because this could be life changing. This is something that could take you from being in your head, being depressed, being sad to actually releasing you. Okay. 
there is a situation here in the near future where you are going to be confronted with a new beginning. There's going to be a passionate new beginning that's on the horizon, but a lot of you are still stuck in something that didn't work out for you. It could have been a missed opportunity in the past. Um, we have the Ten of Swords here in the past and we have the Ten of Swords here again in the future. So what is it that you're taking from the past that you haven't completely closed out and accepted in order to realize this brand new beginning that's happening for you because ace of wands is all about a brand new beginning but how are you supposed to take advantage of a brand new beginning if you're still remaining in your head about something that ended such a long time ago for some of you a situation ended 10 years ago five years ago um 10 months ago 10 weeks ago 10 days ago and you're still kind of on it and by you focusing your energy so much on that look what you miss out on Tell me more about this person that's coming into Sagittarius's life in the near future. King of Pentacles is clarified by the moon, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so in the near future, there is someone that's coming into your life. There is a possibility of growth here. I see you really connecting with this person. This is someone that you meet them. You're like, this is my person. This is who I'm supposed to be with. But you don't know much about this person. There's so much mystery surrounding this person. And this is me. What this may be Sagittarius, what creates a lot of fear for you or a lot of uncertainty. But you need to trust in the process here. You need to trust in this change that's coming into your life because you've been down for so long that finally this change is coming in. So what is this change about? What is it that you need to be consciously aware of when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune energy here? I see something big coming into your life and it's connected to somebody here that you feel very connected to in the near future. Some of you are um, closed off to this change and what this is going to lead to if you remain being closed off to, to new beginnings, to change, to um, taking a risk, you may end up having a tower moment where you're forced into this change. It could be about your works. For some of you, you're looking for work or you are embarking on a new career here. Be open to opportunities that come in for your job. Um, if this isn't about work, this is about you being closed off to a new opportunity in love. And this may create a tower moment for you. So just be aware of uh, the need to be open to change and not remain holding on to things that are not serving you anymore. Okay, so let's get some advice for you, Sagittarius. Stop blocking your blessings. Okay, that's the advice. Hangman, two of swords, and the sun. If you remain in this position of being uncertain and not taking action, you're going to remain unhappy. Okay, but what Spirit is saying is that in order to be happy, to in order to overcome this depression, there's a need for you to take action. There's a need for you to really ask yourself why you're being closed off and why you are holding yourself back from experiencing true happiness. Okay, because it's there for you if you want it. Okay, all right, Sagittarius. So this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.